Hey guys, Canadian Zangief back again, and uh, this time around uh, I'm going back to the PSP again. Um, I've had a couple requests from a few people um, about improving the battery life of the PSP. You know, love my PSP, gets so much use. Uh, previously, um, since there's so many battery problems with the original um, PSP battery, since they don't make them anymore. And all, most of the ones that are out on the market have been sitting in warehouses and have pretty much outlived their usefulness. So previously I made a, uh, a converter that uses uh, AAA batteries. You know, you only get about uh, two, three hours of life out of them. But uh, at least if you wanted to play it, you could just pop it in and play it with disposables. It's not like you needed to have them powered up beforehand. Um, but what I want to do this time is try to fix the problem entirely. Now I picked up a 10,000 um, microampere battery to fit onto this. Now it's a large battery, it's almost the size of this itself. So um, as usual with my previous mod, I don't want to alter the PSP at all. Uh, I want to be able to revert it back to you know stock quality so I don't want to uh, put the battery inside of it because you know there has been people that have modded that before it looks really nice like that but once it's done it's done I, I want to be able to go back and you know have it just as a stock device again so I'm gonna have to make some kind of housing to go around this um, I do know that there's a lot of PSP cases um, like hard plastic cases and I think I'm gonna use one of those so uh, I'm gonna try to get everything together and uh, let's see if we can get it to work okay so I think I've got a plan together with what I have well at least sort of a plan maybe 50% of a plan at this point. We'll see how it goes as I go along. So I've got my standard PSP. Um, I'm gonna go the same route that I went with uh, the uh, other battery mod I did. Um, I'm just gonna take one of these third-party dead batteries. I'm gonna open it up, cut this little top part off just by cutting along the line very carefully don't want to slice my finger or anything pop it out take the battery out of it and just use the board and connection points that lead to here so it fits perfectly inside of it and then I'm gonna have leads coming out from it and this is what I'm gonna use for the leads I picked these up from a uh, an RC kit um, so we got the positive and negative these will go to the leads and then these parts will go to the battery and then I disconnect them like so and then if uh, for some reason one portion goes bad like this battery uh, board goes bad or the new battery goes bad then I can just disconnect it like that it gives me a little bit more room to play with so the battery itself this is it it is huge like I said, it's it's massive. This couldn't even fit inside of it if I wanted it to. So this 10,000 mah, like I said. Now it's got this uh, electrical protection uh, tape over top, and it already has its own leads soldered in. So what I'm going to do is very carefully cut this tape, and I'm going to take these leads off and put in my own ones with this by soldering them in and uh, it should be okay I don't suspect uh, there to be any problems with that um, these are just really short so it's not much room for me to work with so I pretty much need something longer so how I figure I'm going to house all of this together is with this this uh, PSV carrying case it's pretty big I figure if I cut out some of this uh, 
rubber here in the right places I should be and the plastic I should be able to get that in there and that pretty much right on top and then this thing should close once I remove this other rubber you know a little bit of Dremel work here and there and uh, hopefully it'll turn out already now the other thing um, I don't want this to just be totally loose and for it to fall out and I don't want to physically attach something that's going to ruin it so I got some industrial double-sided uh, velcro strips that I'm going to put like just a little sticker point on here which will be removable um, and uh, yeah we'll just try it like that and hope for the best all right well, let's see when I get something moving here okay so I have the battery cut out with a uh, uh, exacto or box cutter or whatever so carefully carefully just line after line gently and then kind of wedge it in and kind of pry it a little bit then it should eventually pop off so this is what it looks like once you take it off I'm pretty sure I showed this on my previous PSP mod but I'll show it again um, so here's the uh, the positive lead for it and underneath the connection point here is the negative I've already cut it I've just kind of put it back together so you can see just kind of put a cut line here and snip off the edges and then just throw this little tiny battery part away oh, what a difference eh <laughs> so this is the part you need the most and this bottom piece so all the circuitry and stuff that will power and recharge it everything is right here so I'm just gonna have to reconnect the positive and negative to these leads right here um, now this part right here is something to be aware of like it's not that's not a lot of surface connection there so you want to reinforce it somehow what I do for a lot of stuff like this is I'll use like a loca glue um, where is it oh right here loca glue and you just you know kind of reinforce it put a little bit on not too much because you know loca glue works better with uh, small amounts and then you cure it with like a UV light that should be good enough usually only takes about 15 seconds at most I've already done it a little bit so I'm just adding a little bit more cure to it a little bit on both sides and uh, that should be enough to secure it it's very subtle kind of focus on my hand not everything behind it okay very subtle you can also use a hot glue gun and everything but I really like the loca glue it's uh, it's very handy so this is ready now I'm gonna go solder this onto here and I'm gonna cut this away and unsolder these lines and solder in the new lines okay I have it all connected now I just protected with some electrical tape this is all was all hollowed out so I put the board back in with the pins and it's right there um, that should do a solid connection if not uh, it's easy enough to open back up again uh, actually I don't think it's not I might have to redo it that doesn't look straight but anyways the main principle of that is uh, this is just gonna pop right on the back and this will fit right in there uh, I cut a slot for the uh, main wires to go in so everything is inside this battery compartment and uh, then I'll just have to put some uh, velcro on the back of here and on the back of the battery and that'll hold it in place and then I got to get the case ready to you know protect it all because you don't want to be playing it and hold it onto the battery while you're playing it that's just silly so I'll clean this up a little bit better and uh, we'll see it once together okay so I've finished attaching it this whole thing will just pop right out so the PSP is not changed at all this will kind of just sit on the back of it just like that 
and now we got this case. Now I've already gone ahead and dremeled out some extra space to make room for the battery. So it should fit pretty much right in now. Now there is a little bit of a uh, height difference because of this battery is a little higher than normal so it's a little uh, raised on one side and the other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, spacers in between the battery and the back of the PSP so it'll rest solid and uh, then I'll use the velcro to keep it all in and together and uh, we'll be ready to start trying it out so the the goal of this is going to be that if I plug it in with the regular charger into the PSP it's going to charge this battery and it's going to last for like 30 hours or something stupid on 10,000 uh, ma. So uh, let's cross the fingers and uh, let's try her out. Okay, moment of truth to see if it even powers on. Everything is nice and level. Now to see how it snaps closed. You know, it's nice and secure, nothing's shaking around. You know, and let's see. Ooh, we got power. And we may have success. Now I just have to uh, see how much battery power I can get from this. You know, it has the, uh, doesn't show it full, but that's definitely going to be unreliable. Because it's not going to know how to gauge a battery of this size. <clears throat> Also, uh, I guess I should have mentioned before, this battery, it, although it is 10,000 um, mAh, it is also 3.7 volts, which is the same as the stock PSP battery. So there shouldn't be any overcharge or, uh, you know, voltage problems. So it should be running fine. Um, hopefully, uh, I get a lot of play time out of this. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, play it for a little while and uh, see how much life I get out of it and uh, then I gotta see how it recharges. So it looks like the mod was a success. I, I let the my PSP run um, with a game active uh, like a PSP game um, just uh, like digital not like running as an actual disk VMU because you can't access the VMU tray with the battery uh, Velcro to the back but I could always take the Velcro off and it would be perfectly fine to run again but um, I let it go overnight um, at about 9 p.m. I started it and then I checked it again at about 11 a.m. the following day and it only went down one bar okay so that's a long time you know just for one bar so I figured okay well it was at two bars when I first put it in because, you know, batteries are usually rechargeables aren't at max when you get them, especially because they could be sitting for a while or whatever. Um, so I ended up charging it. I let it charge for about eight hours because it's a big battery and it's it's only going to be charging as if it was a stock, uh, I believe, 700... Um, battery that's the stock something like that um, so way huger right so it uh, it ended up charging to full and it seems like I'm getting about 30 to 40 maybe about 35 hours out of this before it needs to be charged like actual play not standby I don't know how uh, it will be for standby um, because usually when you put it on standby it just slows down the battery so you get a trickle uh, you know drain um, so more testing will have to be you know done to see how long it'll go on standby to see if it's uh, actually holds on to it for how long but all in all you know I'm super happy about this you know I could take this and play it all week without having to charge it you know that's that's great I'm used to having to uh, plug it in a couple of times you know a day you know if I'm really using it that day um, so yeah 
it's it's worth doing. It was pretty cheap. Um, I'll uh, give a listing of the parts in the description um, for anything I did purchase. This guy here, I just had sitting around, so uh, I'm not too sure where you would find one of these. But I'm sure if you didn't want to use this, you could find some other kind of PSP hard case to uh, change into something to hold the uh, system and the battery. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and... Take it easy. Cheers.